Nitanol is an alloy made of nickel and titanium with a capacity to change shape and then change back again. This shape-changing behavior sets it in a special class of man-made materials known as shape memory alloys. If nitanol wire is given a certain shape, it remembers that shape. It can be twisted or deformed into new shapes at lower temperatures, but if it is reheated to its remembering temperature, it will quickly recover its remembered shape. These shape memory behaviours result from temperature-induced changes to its crystal structures at the atomic level. Nitanol occupies a niche of its own among shape memory alloys as an engineering material. It mimics human tendons and human hair and has many applications in orthodontics, optometry, electronics and medical surgery. It is also valued by artists for its sculptural and kinetic qualities. In this experiment, we demonstrate how we can manipulate the crystal structures in some man-made materials to influence their behaviours. The experiment will be conducted in three parts to explore the properties of nitanol and show how it can be programmed at certain temperatures to remember a shape. This is a very simple experiment to do we need only a few items of equipment, approximately 10 centimetres of each of the following wires. Nitanol, copper, and a steel paper clip. A set of tongs or pliers, a one litre beaker, a Bunsen burner, lighter or matches, hot water, a hairdresser's dummy head wired with nitanol as shown, a hairdryer. This experiment is about shape memory alloys and this is a shape memory alloy known as nitanol which is made from nickel and titanium. In part one of the experiment we will use three different metals the nitanol wire, a steel paper clip and copper wire. We will bend the three straight wires at room temperature so each wire is similarly shaped. Our three metal wires all now have a V shape. We want to know which, if any of these materials, will return to its original shape. So first we drop in our paper clip. As you can see, the shape we've bent into it is still the same in the hot water. We'll now drop in the copper wire. It too has kept its new V shape. Now let's try the nitanol wire. We have to be very careful when it goes into the hot water because it will change shape quickly. As you can see, the nitanol wire has recovered its original straight shape. We've just observed how differently nitanol behaves from the other metals in identical conditions in controlled temperatures. The two common metals retain their assigned new shape, but nitanol appeared to remember and recover its original shape. Let's run that memory test again. This time we will use a hairdryer. Meet Dolly, our nitanol model. She's just had her hair done. These are nitanol curls, of course, but clearly Dolly doesn't need a perm, or does she? Watch what happens when we pass hot air over these curls. Well, so much for the nitanol perm. We've just seen the same behavior. The nitanol hair remembered its pre-programmed shape and with a little encouragement from our hair salon and the right temperature, it just snapped back straight again. Part three will take our experiment further. You will see how simple it is to give a shape memory alloy like nitanol a new shape it will remember by setting that shape as a memory at a high temperature. In the first part of this experiment, we used nitanol wire with a pre-programmed shape, that is, a straight shape 
that had been built into its memory. We deformed it at room temperature, but at a certain temperature, known as the transition temperature, it sprang back to its program shape. How did we do that? In this final part of the experiment, we show you. This time we bend the nitinol wire into another shape, say roughly a loop. Then we place the wire loop in the Bunsen burner flame. We can see the wire heating. What we can't see is the crystal structure changing. This is what gives nitinol a new memory. We are reprogramming its structural behavior at a specific temperature so the nitinol atoms remember this shape. We'll allow the wire to cool down, then we'll straighten it out. It's pretty much straight. Watch what happens now when we drop it into hot water. Look, we have our loop back. That's how easy it is. Our nitinol wire has a new memory. From here on, it's a loop. <laughs>